I would hope, I'm not a member of the political party, and Mr. Flynn's question was addressed to political parties, but I would hope that people like Andrew would actually stand up in the mainstream political parties and actually promote migration positively. Yeah. Um, okay. So, yes, um, Daniel, these, these concepts of not paying benefits out until after three months and everything that was discussed, are you stripping away migrants' rights, basically? Well, I've just come, we had home office questions today, and uh, Labour MP after Labour MP, including the shadow Labour Home Office Secretary, uh, denigrated uh, my party for not controlling immigration. Uh, it's all a matter of hand time because we haven't managed to succeed to sticking uh, to the targets of migration that we had no, set. No, but no, to deceive, that's wrong, though. Not to deceive, what we're saying is that you deceived people because you made a promise and you then broke it in that way. Have you had on so many other issues? No, not yeah, at all. Your and, and you have never broken, it. you have never managed to not fulfill an election pledge, yes. Right. You get, if, you get elected, if, you, if you get elected by saying that migration will be 10,000 rather than 100,000 and require at the end of your term, you shouldn't be held accountable for that. I spent, I spent a lot of time in my constituency in Shrewsbury going around trying to explain to people the benefits of European Union migration, and whether it's in schools or whether it's in to the business community. And I, I